So hi, I'm Jens, I'm here from Flowdrill. I've come to visit uh, Cellmac in order to uh, test out their Mayer drilling machines. What we're trying to do at Flowdrill is basically change how people use mechanical fasteners and effectively replace them by using a standard pillar drill in order to drill into your material and create extra material thickness. This is one of the samples we're working on today. Uh, we've got a plate of three and a half millimeter S355 mile steel, and we're trying to put in an M10 uh, thread into this part. Typically you'd weld on a nut or put in a rivet nut in order to create that extra material thickness. In this case, we're using a Maya SR50 in order to try to form that hole and create that extra material thickness with your parent material. Typically with flow drill you need quite a high RPM and power. That means not every single pillar drill is suitable for it. In this case we've got a gear driven machine which has a lot more grunt than we, uh, which makes it a lot easier for us to move that drill bit through, especially in this hardened uh, mild steel which we've got. Flow drill itself is a two step operation. You've got first of all the flow drill which will create your extra material thickness which will be three times your diameter basically. So here we've got Three millimeters will be hopefully getting around nine millimeters of total material thickness. Once you've done your flow drill, you then change over your tooling and put in a tap. In our case, we recommend a forming tap. That won't cut away any of your material which we form through. It basically just comes along and just rolls that thread in order to create a nice, strong connection. It's also swarfless, so you don't have any chips which are lying around on the, on the plate or otherwise. In this case, we're running it at around 2000 RPM. We're using the auto feed function because it's a thicker plate of material and a larger diameter. It just makes life a lot easier. Also including the stop end position so every single time we're gonna get a perfect finish. There's two types of tooling which we would use. Uh, either you've got the standard tooling which would come down and be completely swarfless and just form a nice collar on the surface of the material. In this case though, because the customer requires a flush finish on the surface, we've got to incorporate our milling cutter into it. And so that means that we'll come down and just mill off the top surface of the uh, material, giving you a nice flat finish and giving you a good sealing surface for the plate which is sitting on top of it. The nice thing about this setup which we've got is with the auto feed with the cross stable, it means that it can just process in a very smooth manner without much interaction and every single hole is in a repeatable process. Generally you'll find typical older style pillar drills won't have the balance of a higher RPM and the power necessary. So it's when you're drilling with flow drill, you've got to always just check your machine parameters. If you've got a small diameter, you generally need a higher RPM and lower motor power. With a large diameter, you'll be running with a uh, lower RPM, but you need a lot more grunt on the, on the motor, basically. Let's get on with some drilling now. <laughs> 